So if we're doing this like an Arrowverse style crossover, then we kind of need to have like an, an Arrowverse style intro, right? Right. Right. Okay. right. All right. All right. All right. Well, I had an idea. I had an idea. It goes a little bit like this. My name okay. is Red Archer Live. For 10 months, I was stranded in a podcast with only one goal, get <laughs> listeners. But to do that, I must become something else. I must become someone else. I must dun, become dun, dun, who's dun, there. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> the arrow, arrow is the only intro I know from that. Oh, and I was like, let's make something verse. different there. Okay, that was wow. good. That was yeah, good. That, was, that good. was really good. That's I'll give you that. Sure. Good and stuff. And you've got Nardo on your phone. What? He's got to slide good. in and steal the limelight, hasn't he? Very good, very good. He's going to steal that limelight. All right, well, let, let's talk it. about some hot takes, shall we, lads? Let's roll the intro. Yeah, Hot takes two! Woo! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, oh. Hello, and welcome back to Who's There, a Doctor Who podcast, a show where one, two, three, four... Who Troopers? Talk about the best show in all of time and space, Doctor Who. I'm your host, Crispy Pro. Joining me, as per always, is the wonderful Red Archer Live. But we have some very special guests today. Troy, who do we have with us? I don't hey. know. Who do we have? Has someone got into our- Someone's got into our call. What's going on? Oh, I don't, I don't know how to kick them. I don't know how to kick them. That's, I'm not <laughs> Sorry, good with technology. That's it's their it's call, funny because mate. it's my we got call. Advice to their call. <laughs> yeah, we're actually, we're actually on their call right now. But yes, we are joined That's by the marvelous. 50% Doctor Who oh, podcast. Hi, boys. Um, Making may, us blush. I listen to them every single time I drive to work, which is a lot. And I drive an hour to work. Dude, so it's that's, it. that's, that's pretty... Uh, Are you repeating episodes? Yeah, or how does like that work? Going for our catalog or... I am literally, I'm, I'm listening to Name of the Doctor right now. Wow. Oh, <laughs> and, and, you're like, and you're like, well, Ryan Gosling's wearing the shooty shirt. It's, a cra- it's crazy. Jeez. Um, Jeez. Um, that Name of the Doctor. Wow. wow. I always wonder what would happen when people go back and listen to them. He's like, that's where our all listeners are coming through. It's just crispy listening over and over again. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, thank you so much. That's, um, appreciate it. Yeah. And thanks for having us. Man. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us as well. It's great to be here. That's all right. Obviously. Well, yeah. We're having a, a fun little crossover, aren't we? So, uh, mm-hmm. this is ambitious. It's a crossover episode. It's a, it's a very ambitious crossover episode because what we're going to do is we have got a whole bunch of hot takes. Crispy did use his Doctor Who power, his, his community leverage to ask for his hot fingers. takes on Twitter. And he got lots in. He got lots and lots and oh, lots yeah. of hot takes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this into two parts. And they're going to connect between our podcast and 50%. So Bang we're going to go through a bunch of them, wrap up after about an hour. Try and, we should have been timing it, really. It would have been good to time it to be an actual hour. That was stupid. We'll be fine. But we'll cut it off after about an hour, and then we'll go over into the other lads' podcast, and we'll go through even more. I've got all the hot takes, though, so I can filter it. I can I can control the press. I can yeah, control Troy's the king guys. here. What do we call oh, yeah. this yeah. this ambitious crossover? Surely we need like a crazy intense title. We um, uh, the fifty percent um, who's there verse. The, oh, that's the universe. <laughs> that's our. That's, that's my doorbell. That's, that's my doorbell. Uh, hey, Crispy, that's carry oh. me. Oh, the parcel guy. Uh, okay, I'll I'll, Are we um, I'll give context. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're definitely still going. So right, Troy right. was awaiting a parcel. We don't know what it is. Maybe it's the yeah, Legend of the Sea Devil soundtrack. What is He keeps talking about. I don't know. I have no idea, but it it, you'd be surprised though. how often it happens. Really? How often it happens? We'll be like, "Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely starting at this time," and then it'd be like, "Oh wait, I've got a package. Let's just let's hold it off for it's a little bit." And an hour goes past, and then here we are. <laughs> um, but lads, so today we are doing hot takes number two. The mm-hmm. first episode went off. It was huge. It got the press going. Everyone was talking about it. So today we have raised the stakes by not only having two of my favorite YouTubers in the room. Oh. I have also purchased something. Ooh. Are you ready? Look at this. Oh my oh, Nando's. Nando's. I thought about Ex- doing something like this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Extra bloody hot sauce. And I've made some chicken. I've made some chicken. <laughs> wow. So I love it. The, the, the rules here, Troy isn't going to know the rules, um, but the rules here, if there is a hot tank that I particularly disagree with wholeheartedly, <laughs> mm-hmm. I need, and I need to stand my ground. I will commit. I've never had the extra bloody hot sauce. That's what it's called. Yeah. I'm usually, <laughs> usually, I like a bit of spice. I'm a hot, I'm a hot kind of guy when I go to Nando's. What, what is your spice preference at Nando's? I'm an extra, extra hot. Extra hot. Extra yeah. hot. Yeah. You got extra go. hot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, well, you guys survived. But is it extra bloody hot? No, not have, bloody. It's just I extra I have gotten that one, one time. One time. And? One time. 
Yeah, what was it like? It's like, extra body hot, you know. It's, it's okay. exactly what it says, you know. Yeah, yeah no, it was okay. Hot. It was. Hot. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm very, very excited. I've got a lot of chicken here. I don't know if it's gonna last until your episode, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see because I, I had a, I had a squeeze through today on the Twitter mm-hmm. on my, on the replies. And there were some very, very hot takes. Mm, so, I, I can't see. remember all of them, but there are some that have stuck in my mind that I know I'm going to have to commit. But <laughs> hey. that's okay. But let's talk about, um, since Troy hasn't come back to the room yet. It's a big um, parcel, you know. It's a massive <laughs> like, parcel, what, what apparently. What's going on? <laughs> it's compensating for something. So, oh Aiden, um, <laughs> I remember, me. let's just start off this discussion. Sure. Um, first of all. Let's talk about In the Forest of the sh- shall we? <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's like your uh, your big one, right? Uh, well, my least favorite's Fear Her. But okay. In the Forest of the Night, I just think whenever that episode ends, I go, a big exhale and I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. What is going on here? <laughs> but you said it's fun. Well, Explain. I Look, okay. Uh, I think it's not a great episode. But I think it's a lot of fun to watch. It Okay, the end is a big sigh. Like, mm. it ends and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, no. Like, what have they done here? Yeah. But, I mean, like, there's a shot where they pan to Peter and he's just in a tree, posed, like, <laughs> like for no reason. He doesn't even address it. He just starts talking yeah. and gets out of that pose. Like, there's just a lot of th- things in it that I thought were really funny. Mm. Um, I, you liked it as well, Connor, didn't you? Uh, yeah, more on the rewatch. Yeah, I mean, mm. I can see why it gets hate for sure. Mm. But I don't know. Sometimes you can rewatch stuff on good days. And I think that it certainly was the most enjoyable time that I've watched it. But it was definitely like I was in a really good mood when yeah, I watched you, it. You've got to be yeah, in a good yeah, mood. Yeah, interesting, it. But I, look. Needs to be the mindset. Mm. Never going to go back and visit it for probably years. So here he is. There you go. Oh, Troy, he's, Troy walking, he's got his he's flux back. hoodie on. He's back. Hello. Hello, the, son. The king has returned. On a scale of one to ten, how good was that conversation? How much am I cutting out? That was pretty. <laughs> literally, it was not. Like, pretty fly. Literally, none of the nines get cut out. It was so good. Yeah. Oh, and we great. kept it going. <laughs> we talked about uh, in the forest of the night, so it's going to be a fun little conversation for you to rewatch oh, nice, later. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice hot take. Yeah. Nice hot take. I, it was meant to be one <laughs> present for my mum for Christmas. So if she's listening to this, then that was your fault. Um, but it turned out there are about five parcels. So I have to wow. wait as the postman very slowly scanned each one while talking to me about the state of the country. And I was like, okay, can I, can I, can I, can <laughs> I go in like, there, please? I'm filming a podcast. Come on. Yeah, yeah please. We're, we're on the air. Well, he, Thank he has you. one. So I have one. So the daughter and he's gone, how are you doing? Red Archer Live. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake, how do you know that? What? My, my mom postman? told me a bit about the YouTube thing, about, about the YouTube thing. And then I bought, I bought some of the, you know, the 13th Doctor figurines, the, the three, the yeah. collector set, the new one. I bought it off the Doctor Who pages on Twitter. He had, he had a spare box and he addressed it to Red Archer Live. Oh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Even though I, I, I paid like via PayPal, so I think he had my full actual name, so he could have put that on there when he addressed <laughs> it to Red Archer Live. No, I was like, you need, oh, God. You need your show name. You need I, your show exactly. name. I was at a, uh, a pub quiz last night and there was like, mm. a, like a comedian who was running the whole thing. And um, I was with my family because it was the, the birthday celebrations for the fam. And... Um, all of a sudden, my mum's like, oh, my son's got a podcast. Oh, and God. Like, it was so like, oh, no. no. Like, That's it's literal incredible. Bait. It's not That's like bait. I'm embarrassed to talk about it, but I was like, this is just so like, yeah. why? Like, why are we doing this right now? Yeah, who doesn't Left these field. days? Let's be real. <laughs> Whereas if someone mentions Doc 2 to me, I'm like, hey, I've got a Doc 2 podcast. I just shill it. I don't care. I, no, no, but no, no, this no, was yeah. like, it's just your no mother context. declaring. Mm, did he <laughs> yeah. say anything about My it? My son has a podcast <laughs> like, and he swears it all the time. <laughs> well, he said he was like, oh, I'll listen to it. And I was there like, you you're probably not going to want to. Yeah, as I don't like what to. So, yeah. He had a David Tennant question in there and I was like, ooh, that came okay. handy. It's a good question. Okay. This is good. Yeah, yeah well, we're rather to keep you in check, aren't we? Because we don't we don't swear on our, on our podcast. So, you know, you're not That's allowed to delete. Under punishment. Wait, so I did if, we, say- if we accidentally do one, like, you're going to have to bleep it out, like Aiden does when I say that certain word, which I won't say. Good. You have to, you have to bleep <laughs> don't it out. say it here. Yeah. yeah, probably. Probably I uh, would. I have yeah. to put a TARDIS notice yeah. or something. Please don't make my life harder. Thank you, lads. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. <laughs> right. We're the, we're the explit, I guess, the explit version. Uh, we're yeah. the Torchwood spin off. The Torchwood spin there. off of Doctor Who podcast. <laughs> Well, as I think uh, we've only been talking for ten minutes. Let's let's get ahead of the curve and let's get into some hot takes, shall we? Let's let's do sure. some, some hot Bring takes. Bring it on. Let's so, go. I will send each of these through to all of us via Discord, and we can have a little look through and have a chat and discuss how hot the takes are. 
Crispy, have you got your wings yet? Have I missed that part yeah, of the conversation? Yeah, mate. I, I, that's what we talked about that briefly in the break. I've got my... Troy, look at this. The extra bloody oh, hot sauce, mate. Extra bloody hot it's, sauce. Oh, it's, it's extra gonna bloody go hot. Off. It's your perfect sauce, that. That's your perfect sauce. Yeah. yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will get the hot takes up in our Discord. So we're going to go one at a time. Okay, Sam. Okay. Love it. Here comes your first hot take. It's like it's a quiz show or something. The I'm first really excited, hot take actually. comes from uh, Ace Trainer Brianna. I heard someone's Discord ping then. Who was that? <laughs> that might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> so had a noise oh, then. Do you, mind, do you mind? We're professional here. Do you mind turning that off? Thank you. I don't know how to mute Discord. <laughs> I don't know. I've That's never true. used Discord. Did he just before. get it today? Like <laughs> go into today. um go, go into settings. <laughs> now this is entertainment. Go into this settings and go into notifications, everyone. and then you can yeah. you can turn them all off somewhere. I think or sounds or okay. something. I don't know. This is when dyslexia kicks in. There, Whenever I'm under pressure, right, right there, eyes. just down there. Okay, notifications <laughs> down at the bottom, yeah, right there. there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Tech support you see, Troy, I I wish that we had this kind of chemistry. <laughs> you would never help me. You would be yelling at me right now. <laughs> what do you want about? Chris, oh, we, yeah, we grew up together. Right That's it. We went to school together. You know, <laughs> we got all the abuse out when we were at high school. We so. we fell out big time, and you'll find out that in the 200 episode. That's but, you right. Know, now we're now we're best buddies. So That's, don't worry about that. That's one word for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought no, with, no, with Crispy you. when he said that he did all the editing, and I was like, "No, you don't, mate." <laughs> I do all the. Editing. I feel your Absolutely. pain, Crispy, because we do work still. Okay, these yeah. are like well, yeah, so that's, exactly. Sorry. Can what? I tell you, these two people, these two people are like, oh, we do all the work around here. I'm like, no, you don't. Come on, get out of here. I do the clips. I do the clips. All right, give me a break. I have asked Crispy to do some clips, but he does he hasn't done them, you know, it's his fault. I do, I do the clips all the time. Yeah. I do the clips all the time. <laughs> Can you do some clips, yeah. please, Crispy? Make yourself useful, thanks. <laughs> I'm busy this week. I don't mean to demonetize you guys, I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, apologize. you better have. And don't worry, we'll just we'll just carry while while Crispy's internet just uh, takes a bit of a dump there. Yeah, he seems to have frozen. frozen. No, he's back. He's back. He's back. So yeah. can we can we let's let's hot take it let's hot take it lads let's hot take is it. Is he ready? Us or is he, okay, he's back. Is he there? He's there. Right, this is a shambles <laughs> like already, mate. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. I'm, see, this is, this is proof it's Crispy's we're good, internet. We're, good. We're, we're calling other Australian lads, and their internet's fine, Crispy. So uh, that's fine. We playing that. We playing that. Yeah, <laughs> Perth's better than Brisbane. All right, let's it's keep because, going. It's because it's because you've Correct said you're not going to see pale waves on tour. Okay, that's why. Let's read are. the first hot take. Let's go. So he ignores that. So the first hot take comes from Ace Trainer Brianna who has said, Martha is a far better companion than Rose. Where Rose fell into the stereotypical role of love interest in series two, Martha managed to stand above this stereotype and ended up being one of the best companions in modern Who. What, what do we think, lads? What do we think? Yeah, I agree. It's good take. I, I agree with that, it's definitely. Not a, it's not a hot take. Good it's, take. A, it's an excellent take. Totally it's agree. It's a good take. I actually I agree mean, with all of that. I don't, ooh, I don't know about that. She's standing above the stereotype, she literally was chasing after him for the whole series. I don't know about that. Not bit. the whole series, but that's like her arc, right? Like, because yeah. she overcomes that by, that by the end of it. I see how this good. is. I'm gonna get ganged upon by the Australians. It's gonna be yeah, a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, I like that, That's a good. That's a good take for me, and that's that's a W, Aiden. That's a but no, yeah, that is a good take generally. Like, I I I don't know if I prefer Martha to Rose, but I think probably in terms of a companion, like overall, Martha is probably better. Yeah, she yeah. she is great. Good. And she was so my we're first. We're in You know, she was my first yeah. companion. Yeah. Anyway, so here's the next hot take. Comes from uh, DW14 Pride, who has said, The Woman Who Fell to Earth and Power of the Doctor are Jodie's only great episodes. Okay. No. L. 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 Yeah, no. Uh, no. L. L. I hard disagree. L. Should we list all the episodes that are great from Jodie's run just to spite him? <laughs> well, I mean, they're they're not the only great. I mean, they are great. Epi- I believe they are great. I'm not sure quite sure about the 50 percent boys. They haven't actually got there in their rewatch yet with Woman Who Felt yeah, Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like we were all in agreement that Power of the Doctor was a romp. Yeah, it didn't make yeah. any sense, but it was a romp, a fun yeah, time. Definitely. It goes what do you good. Mean it didn't make not, any sense. Not great for me. It's good, but not great. It did make sense. Yeah. Come on. It was like one of the ones. Volcanoes. Oh, Planets, oh, like there's so much. We're gonna ruin Troy here. We're gonna ruin <laughs> Troy. One of my favorite here. episodes of the show. Okay, I'm just gonna have a it's drink. Good it's it's really good. so I much fun. She messaged him today and said, "Like, I really want to rewatch it through Christmas. Like, I generally do." Yeah. There you go. It's good fun. Can we can we go around and read one each? Yes. As you send them through. We should do it like that. Okay. Yeah, we should do it like that. See, this is the problem. You gave me all these hot takes, asked me to manage them, Crispy. Of course, I'm gonna fall into the narrator role. Okay. Yeah, I know. What's so gonna happen? What's gonna happen? That. All right, Crispy. Do you want to take number three? Yeah, give me an easy one, please. His, his, Thank well, you. Here we go. About this. Here's number three. Here's number three. Oh, wow. Okay, oh. guys. Hot off the press. 
I love Moffat, but the Weeping Angels are not that good of a villain. Never have been. L. Oh, that's, and that comes that's from Jeremy L. Duncan. He asked in a race and couldn't even read the guy's name out. Larry oh, Longkin. Well, I, we do, L. I never read the names L. out <laughs> in case they don't want to be identified. Um, if they put it on Twitter, they could be identified crispy. For the sheer hotness. Um, that was a spicy take. I think the Weeping Angels are a great villain. They mm. are one of, the, one of the best concepts. I can almost understand the argument that their appearances get less interesting over time, but yeah, Village of the Angels yeah. kind of made them way more interesting. Mm. So I think this might be one I have to disagree with. So I'm yeah. going to have some hot sauce. Troy, can you prepare the next one as uh, our 50% lads read the next I hot can. take? Thank I, you I very still, much. I still think Angels Take Manhattan is one of the better, if not one of my favorite Weeping Angel stories. I think I love that. I think it's, it's a really great good. story. Yeah. But well. the Statue of Liberty always annoys me. Blink is always going to be a timeless classic, and it's always going to be like yeah, peak Moffat. But I honestly yeah, think that every out. different Weeping Angel story does something different and interesting. I don't find any of them particularly worse than the other. In some ways, I think they That's get stronger in, in parts. They weren't overused like Daleks and Cybermen. And exactly. Oh, no, my God. God. But also with the Series <laughs> 5 story, you've got two parts. So you've got more to dive into there. So that, like, that kind of makes it an unfair balance because the rest of them are single episode stories. So you yeah. have got that to factor in as well. You've got more time with the Angels in Series 5, so it's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. All right. I'm All right, going, lads, I'm going in, in lads. I'm, hang on. Troy, oh, I'm about no. to go in on this. About to go in on this getting spicy. Welcome I've to never Who tried the ones. bloody hot. Doctor Who ones. Uh, <laughs> he's eating oh. some chicken. I went That's going to be some good some audio he's content. Just chicken. the nomming. It's yeah. getting spicy. Is it spicy? Oh, oh, oh yeah. you can see his face contorting already. <laughs> I didn't bring any water or anything. Oh no! <laughs> Wash it down with a Bundy Crispy, your favorite drink. It's supposed to be some milk, isn't that what they do? I on have, that one? I had Just a one nine six before. Oh, um, hey. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> call my house. Crispy looks genuinely call my stressed housemate. right now. Do I read this now or this? I yeah, think, read it. I think I Crispy would, wrote I would this. wait. Let's, 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 let's. This is great content. Let's right. watch Crispy solve I'll for wait. a minute. All right, hang on. I'm calling my housemate. Live on the air. Gonna, wait, ask for milk. Ask for milk. Yeah, I'm getting milk. Milk. Gone. We're going to have this on the pod. I'm I'm not never, we never had this. a phone call on the podcast. Can't hear it, is great. Hello. Hey, Hi. Gabby. Can you can you grab that milk, please? That's in the fridge. <laughs> Give me that milk. I sure can. I will be with you in T minus 30 seconds. Thank you so much, Gabby. Okay, I appreciate you. All right. I didn't wow. think anyone in your house could be more Australian than you are, and yet there she is. <laughs> oh, crikey, that's hot. Mm. <laughs> Oh. Is this Gabby? Mm-hmm. Is she going to feature on the podcast? This is crazy. Okay, she might say a word. She, she might, was yeah. the one that came with me to see Alex Kingston. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah. Do you want to say shout out hi on the podcast? Hi. Beautiful. That was Gabby. <laughs> Everyone. Thanks, Gabby. That was Gabby. Thanks, Gab. <laughs> hi, Gabby. Thank you. Moses. <laughs> you know it's spicy oh, when an Australian word. says "crikey Moses." Good grief. Right, lads. Crikey, while, Charlie. While, while, uh, while Crispy's... I was going to say while he's milking it. No, no. Um, <laughs> read out hot take number four. Let's move on. Read out take four. Read out take four. Uh, is, this one's like... Uh, I, I think this must be written by Crispy himself. Um, Are you yeah, reading I this? Yeah, I think so too. Right, you, do, you do the one after this and I'll... Sure, sure. go ahead. So I just didn't know who was doing which. Go ahead. Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon is the best series opener. Oof, that's a oh, hard one. Great no, take. No, it's not. Brilliant take. No, it's not. No. That's really good. I kind of mm. forgot that I had to talk after having the chicken. All right. No, it's not. L. It's not. It's, up, it's, it's good. good. It's really good. But it's, I mean, 11th hour no, is like. I'll admit, I'll wow. admit, it's not the best series opener. As, as Crispy it. says, it's one of the best conversation starters for Doctor Who fans. Like, Very I will right. back that. Because everyone's like, what is going on? Someone tell me what the hell is going on here. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Partners in Crime, Rose, Smith and Jones, um, Bells of St. John. Actually, to be fair, I do kind of prefer that as an opener in some ways. Oh, this is a noodle scratcher. Uh, mm. I like that one. I like God. that episode. I like that episode. I don't care what anyone says. But no, like that uh, Woman Who Fell to Earth. Like, there's quite a few episodes that I think are better openers than... Wait, so Christopher, are you, saying, are you saying that you don't agree with this? I am saying that I... Do not agree. Wow, with it, but I'm not <gasps> having. This is not chicken worthy. If that's where you're going, oh with man, that. you <laughs> say he's like, crispy. I feel like, I, feel like I want to say yes, but I feel like if you don't agree with it, and I know how much you, you want to say it, yes to that. Really? No, I feel like there are better series open. I, I think love this it. Is a banging I love episode. It, yeah, I feel like there are better ones. Yeah, okay. It's not, like, Sorry, it's it's S tier. But if the, if we're going on the category series opener, mm. I would say yeah. 
If you want a proper banging introduction to Doctor Who, something that like whisk you away, yeah, you get your woman who fell to Earth your eleventh hours. All right, mm-hmm. that's what that's what we're dealing with. Series openers. I rest my case. Yeah, thank you very much. He makes a good, good point. answers. He makes a good point. So, uh, Ahmad, you have Quarter failed joined. that. You have failed that. You didn't even you didn't even manage to get Crispy's agreements, and they're his favorite episodes. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's the chicken talk. That, that yeah, that kind of blows <laughs> my mind. You are being a chicken. Really you, you are being a big old chicken. Hmm. <laughs> Spicy. Okay, so, uh, so Connor, you're you're taking over now, aren't you? So here, here's your here's okay. your hot take. <laughs> All right, thirteen's run is better overall than tens. Oh. L. Don't forget name and name and shame these people. They're on Twitter. They could be named and shamed. <laughs> Kyle D W, which I believe stands for Doctor Who. Carl Doctor Who. Or don't worry. Very good investigative. Yeah, Carl, don't worry yeah. about it. This is an don't L worry take. about it, Carl. Don't worry about We're his not- take. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about this take because it's. I actually have a minor wrong. <laughs> so, on um, on just this is a uh, slightly off topic, but on the DW, I remember I was talking to a a girl in high school, and they said, "What are you watching?" And I said, "DW." And they were like, oh, don't worry. Then. Okay. And I think they thought I was like <laughs> just really blunt, like, "Don't worry." Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Don't oh, worry. Yeah. Unless you're like, what a are you watching? Now? You're not gonna know. DW is Doctor Who. I know. It's like I'm sorry. Pretty I'm lame. Come on, Ian. Your, anyway, your come basement on. dweller came out there. I'm watching DW. <laughs> yeah. I'm you know actually watching is. DW come right on. now. Well, that was like when Series 5 was going with DW as all the logo and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. It was everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. The thing that interests me about this is that Crispy took all the screenshots during a... What was it a slow day at work or was it just a day where you... Anyway. Um, <laughs> it was just an he, average day. <laughs> yeah, he took... He took all. The, he actually messaged me being like, "Should I take all the screenshots of the takes?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's taking this picture of Carl's, and there is a reply underneath what he said. And I honestly yeah. just want to know what the reply is. Was it him explaining himself? No, or someone no. saying you want to. You want to know what the reply was? I, I actually. It was do. just. It was just L. L. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take. Oh, I'll I can't take. blame I'll him. Take. I can't blame him. It is a bit of yeah. an L. It's not a great take. It's not yeah. a great take. Sorry. Thirteen uh, join is much better than people say. Yeah, oh, definitely. Tennis, yeah, definitely. Tennis absolutely. People. Mm. Tennis people. Yeah. So he's back Good to job, back King. to me now, I think. Right, back to me. Yes. Here we yes, go. Yes, Troy. Back to oh, life. Wait, back did you guys reality. want to elaborate on that point? I'm just saying, Crispy, you're not having a lot of chicken wings for the amount of L takes that are coming out. Yeah, well, what's going on here? Ever since oh, it was God. like really spicy. He's scared. Like, you know, he's scared. He's we scared. want to see you I suffer. I forgot that. I forgot. All right. <laughs> I just straight up forgot. I but forgot. I will. I'm gonna have another. I'm gonna have another oh, little nibbly. I'm so glad I didn't get this one because this is really long. Mm. Every time someone says I forgot, now I just think of that meme where it said Al Pacino forgot to go to the Oscars. What? Did, am I the only one who's seen that? I'm the only one who's seen <laughs> yeah, that meme. Okay, so. right. You're the only one who's seen that. Right. So Lucas, uh, WC time. I mean, I don't know what WC means. Water closet. What That's does what that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. See, we don't know what these things are. It's toilet time. It means toilet time. Um, oh, true. <laughs> He said, Midnight is one of the worst episodes of New Who. No. It's 20 minutes of boring talking on a bus, then another 20 minutes of a villain as threatening as an annoying five-year-old. I do not understand how anyone can enjoy watching it, as it's 45 minutes of nothing happening on a space bus. L, L. Yeah, Crispy, L. you better do that, because... Right, Crispy, that's three. Up. You've got to have three L, for that. L, I will give L. you a fun fact. When I first saw Midnight, I also did not like it. I didn't. I didn't yeah, get. Same. I didn't get Troy, the Troy, you should same. be having some of this, mate. But exactly every time same, since yeah. I've gone, no, this is peak. I don't know what I was on about. This is great. Yeah, one of the best episodes of Doctor Who ever. Yeah, 100%. it's very, very well done. Probably the best like bottle episode. Is that what they call them? Is that a yeah, a yeah. Term? yeah, yeah, like yeah. a cheap episode which know. like yeah, doesn't require stuff. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the episode I showed my best mate who hates Doctor Who, and even he gave it a seven. I think so. Mm. That just shows you. Damn. It's a banging yeah, out. And it was a stage play once, which was apparently really bad. I have heard that, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, it was what? a stage play. Yeah, it got adapted into a stage play and apparently it was like terrible. Is I don't there know who did it, but video proof of this? Because I would Midday. watch that. Midday? No. Uh, <laughs> Midday. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think there's video proof, but like if you go on the um if you go on the TARDIS wiki, you can read all about mm-hmm. it and like there's terrible reviews for it. I just it just didn't work as like a Play. I think someone took the concept. It wasn't like the Doctor and stuff. It wasn't like uh, the characters, no. but someone took the concept and adapted it into like a uh, like a to a play. Mm. And it was like apparently. Well, there you go. So, oh god, there we go again. Oh, Troy's gonna have so much fun. Troy's gonna have so much fun. I'm so Eddie. sorry. I'm just wondering, like, if I put a TARDIS noise over it, it's gonna be so jarring for anyone listening. And I'm like, what do I do? Just cut his own. I might just cut it. I might just put a gap there, and then you going, oh sorry, just so we can own up sorry, the cut. You know what? My mum says that I swear a bit too much sometimes. At least I can turn it on and off. 
<laughs> that's L Connor. Sorry, Elon. I'm Elon disappointed. Yeah. You know Lonna what? Lennon. I'm just disappointed. That's all. You know, you should that's be better okay. than this. I'll you cop should it. be better than this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll cop it. Yeah, you should do. Oh, right, Damn Crispy. Crispy. Here's our next one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 struggle struggle right. to read it out while you're having the chicken. Go for it. Go. Here we go. This is from <laughs> Luca. <laughs> This is from Luca B. <laughs> no, no, I love the pain. We went. This is from. Like, that was great. This is from Luca B. I don't care about the TARDIS exterior at all. Could not tell you the difference between them. Lamau. Lamau. Lamau is for an L. I'll take yeah, L. L for Lamau. <laughs> I don't no. think it's as big of a deal as a lot of people make it out to be. But like, yeah, yeah, it's still like it's it's the look of the it's like the it's icon important. of the show, right? Yeah, I love it. Like, yeah. yeah. Have you looked? Have you looked at our tw- our YouTube banner? <laughs> because it's literally got every single different TARDIS underneath it. The, t- the yeah. exteriors are very different. They are very different. And they're distinct. And how are they going to sell toys? You know, toys. You know, that's what it's toys. all about. At the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to restart the uh, the recording on the camera, guys. So just pause oh, two seconds. All right. Now you've said that. I'm oh. keeping it in. Oh no. See, we agreed that we were going to do Troy. gaps every time we did this because they have to reset their camera every, every 29 minutes. But every time it's a little bit of fun behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes I just feel like leaving it in, you know? I just feel like doing that. Well, wow. that's 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 an L take. It that's, might make it easier for you L-take. to be fair, Aiden, because then you don't have to cut out the gaps if you oh. leave them in. You can just leave it as one big, one yeah, big flow, just, you know? You can you can even get the clap in if you like. Well, no, I'd rather it. not. Wow. Oh, well, <laughs> well, it's in there now anyway. It's in there anyway. Um, but yeah, so Jody's is the best exterior. Moving on. Um, L. No, it's good. I reckon it's, it's very good. No way, man. I love exterior. I love the white text on black. That's why I love oh, the exterior? it. I know, oh, I know the exterior. Some... Yeah, it's good. Yeah, exterior is good. Interior. Oh, exterior. Interior, I really like. I know. I know. Um, who addicts were like, oh, this is the worst Tardis, and I retweeted it, and I was like, it's one of Troy's favorite. I'm not sure if it actually is my favorite, it's but Troy's it definitely favorite. is like one of my faves. I think it's a phenomenal mm. interior. It grew on me. I, I think it grows on you personally. Oh, well, Tardises do grow, as the deleted scene there in Jenny's End told us. There you so, go. That's of course, true. Not yeah. grow yourself yeah, grow a TARDIS. Your TARDIS. Yeah, that's nice. so great. Have fun. Surely that's a toy they should do. What, the egg? Like, you, you put, like, a little TARDIS in a glass of water and it oh, grows. and it starts growing. That, we should make that. We should invest. Get Ross from, on the phone. From a glass... Well, you I'm know, just trying to think how that would expand. Well, you know those like you get. Didn't they used to have like dinosaurs or something, you, and they were used to grow. Yeah, I you know, know. Like, they used to put them in like water, or like they would start to grow and, and stuff, expand. and like expand. Like mm. after like a day, it would grow like bigger. Mm. That used to blow my mind. Hey. Yeah. Well, they can do it in Doctor Who. Yeah, let's let's get on that. We need to they run the can. marketing. They can. Aiden, here's yours. Hit me. Right. I'd rather not. I'd have to fly over. Please do. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Uh, you can hit Connor because he keeps swearing. Uh, all of the side Sorry. characters in the Chibnall Sorry. era stories were awful. Other than Alan Cummings as King James and Vinette Robinson as Rosa Parks. Uh, hmm. oh, you know what? Jacob, mate. I don't know. I don't know. I- I'd say 90% of them maybe are. I wouldn't say all of them, but I, I, no. I, I don't. For me, I don't think there's a lot of memorable side characters in there. Binda, oh, let's go. I'll agree. Yeah. I love Binda. Binda. Yeah, well, we love Binda. Yeah, I was going to say, like, there's also a difference between awful and not memorable. Like, like Jacob's saying mm, they're yeah. awful. Awful. Like, no, I don't... A lot of them are inoffensive and very forgettable, Some but of them awful? are forgettable, mm, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I remember, like I said, I said this to Crispy recently, I remember not liking the Ghost Monument that much when it aired and then I rewatched it and I was like, this is actually quite interesting and I like the side characters. They're a little bit... Yeah. Over, one of them's a bit overdramatic at times, but I was like, mm, so it's fine. I don't think any of them are particularly awful. But some of the more forgettable side characters, yes. Mm. But awful, I mean, I don't can think. you Can you name anyone in Praxis, Troy? There's the two Brazilian Betty. vloggers. I can't remember their names. <laughs> there's there's, there's, the, there's the YouTubers. <laughs> uh, Suki. There's Suki. The... She's, the, she's the, the bad guy. The one with the plastics. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> what did I say? No, no, you didn't say anything. I Someone else it. did. But anyway, let's move on. I swear to God, Connor. I swear to God. <laughs> you just like your I know. You know what he does? He 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 says the word and then he goes, "Don't worry, no one heard it." But I'm um, yeah. just waiting for <laughs> you to go back like, and and then be able to hear it and then go. He's like that one Damn. Twitter video that woman goes, "And I oop." <laughs> and I oop. <laughs> Stops there and goes up, up. Apologies. Every time he swears, you need to get David Tennant going fingers on lips. Right, Connor. Connor. I just swear to God. This this hot take it has no swear words in it. Your challenge is to read it without adding any in. Okay. I'll try. My okay, best. Good. Good. Love you, buddy. Okay. All right. Off you go. All right. Let's oh, go. Here we go. Oh, B. 
Oh, it's Finny. Cool. Oh. Season four is the weakest of the RTD seasons. <gasps> All right, I'm having a beautiful wing here. I don't know who oh. Vinny is, this Miss V, but I don't like this it's take. It's their, their friend. Vinny has, I haven't met has been a long time friend Vinny. of our show. Uh, she was there very <gasps> early on. And um, oh. yeah, she's... um. You guys have like uh, Sarah Glover or something? She's like our Sarah. Like <laughs> Vinny has, has <laughs> been there. She's Sarah Glover, your time lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have to a, agree with Vinny on this take. No, oh, you don't. Sorry. It's the weakest sorry. between two and no, four. No, no, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't agree with that I take. I got to. I got to. I'm sorry. I think season three is really great. Yeah, and season two. Oh, yeah, I agree. One. But yeah. Four is no. so no, weak you know, until midnight. Oh, come on. What? Uh, no, no, Silence no. in the library? Are we you We have got another half me? an hour with you. To, actually, no, we've got another hour and a half with you to go record your <laughs> episode yet. And I'm... Sorry, that's, guys. That's offensive. I've actually sorry. taken offense to that. Sorry, sorry. No. Well, weakest, weakest of the RTD seasons. Well, if you think about it, series 14 was very strong, 15 even stronger, but 16 <laughs> probably is the weakest one, I'd say. Oh, yeah, you know, when, when, oh. when Shusi started doing pantomime scripts every every episode, it, it got really very, odd. It, it was odd. strange. Yeah. Imagine there just is like a sing-along episode now in series 16. <laughs> Imagine there is, yeah. and I've called that now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Pantomime episode. Russell T Davies, yeah. give it to us. No, series four is the best of the RTD seasons. If you think otherwise, then you are not a Doctor Who fan. Sorry, I became nah. a Jody hater then for a second with the, with the takes there. Sorry, sorry. Three. You, which you still three and one of the, the best. Sorry, all. And then I don't know. Two and four both for me are kind of messy and inconsistent. But I I really like them both. Two has they love also... and monsters. What do you exactly. mean? Exactly. Case and point. No, that's, that's a that's fantastic a plus. That's a plus. Oh, I've got there's three love and monsters haters here, isn't there? It's only me that doesn't. I'll, I'll just walk out. That's fine. No, I love Wait, it. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's a good thing. I mean, yeah. three love it. I hate it. Yeah. Sorry, I... How can you not love that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a lot of ways. <laughs> well, Chris, we can really relate to it right now because it really does taste like chicken. Moving on. <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh, spicy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. So, uh, John Smith has said, Orphan 55 was actually good. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> yes, no. Well, how, how are we feeling, lads? How are we feling? We're not oh, agreeing. I We're not well, agreeing. some more spice. We oh, haven't oh, seen oh. it since around the time it came out because True. we can't watch the episodes yeah. we haven't reviewed yet. Um, so, Ooh. so uh, ours is a very dated opinion, but yeah, I did not rate it. What was that? Twenty. That was twenty twenty, wasn't it? Yeah, it provided us with Benny. That's a that's a that's Benny. yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's a dub. Mm -hmm. That's a dub in itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was but really preachy. I, think... I just thought it was bad. Yeah. yeah, I the the ending I think is very shoved in your face, and you don't appreciate that. But mm -hmm. I honestly remember being so disappointed by that episode because they hyped it up so much. They said, "Just you wait till the end of this yeah. episode." Yes, and I was yes, like, "We course. just had the master reveal. What else has series yeah, twelve got up next? their sleeves?" Yeah. Oh my goodness! And then See, I was like, "Oh wait, <laughs> I'm the problem." <laughs> right. All That's right. The twist. Oh, we're not going back That's to Taylor Swift twist. jokes, are we? We're not doing that. <laughs> what? It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. There oh, we go, no. Midnight is now a part of <laughs> the Who's There canon. No, I, see, yeah. I, don't remember, I don't remember hearing them say, wait till you see episode three. I don't remember that. I must have just blocked it out of my head. But like, mm. it's not even the preachy bit that annoys me that much. It's more just the way that time travel supposedly works that just annoys me. I've said this before on the podcast, but it's like, mm. she's saying, you know, this is just one possible future. You guys can stop this. It's like, no, if you've landed there, that is the future. Unless you go mm. and do something to fix it. That is the future. You can't then just go, it's up to you to change it. No, it's no, you've landed there, so that's that's what happened, Jody. Mm, that's what happened. Mm. Okay, and I don't know what the script writer's have... telling you. <laughs> you've also got Jay from from the Inbetweeners there who doesn't have like a single comedic line. Yeah. Comedic line, like, yeah. Like, anything interesting at all with him. Um yeah. And there's green wings are awful. Mm -hmm. Very very Those green wigs. I mean, it, literally they cut they cut the end off a mop and shoved it on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very weird but no like as a general thing like the episode itself i feel like obviously there was a lot of kind of hate driven around it at the time and i wasn't as big on jody's era when it first came out i feel like on reflection there's more to it that i like but it's that ending that just it really yeah. and also just no one seems to say it but those dregs they're just the hoiks from love of monsters someone yeah. someone was watching love of monsters and went you know what there's a banging monster design i'm just gonna, just gonna grab that 10 it seasons later look, the design does know. look good to be fair like yeah mm -hmm. Apart from when it's in the in the light and the the, the animation's not quite as good in the dark in the yeah. shadow in the shadows, it was proper creepy. It I actually did that. look yeah. good. 
Wasn't the whole thing is like that's what you become if you don't change? Yeah. Well, they if you, humans? Don't, if you don't do your recycling. I think so. I yeah. think they were meant to be like mutations of. Uh, yeah, they're future humans. humans. <laughs> if you didn't change. <laughs> He's I, I, I'm very much... I'm with the 50% lights. I don't think I've watched it since when? Early 2020. 2020, I think. Yeah. I think it would I been. like how they come back uh, like Ryan when... Was it Can You Hear Me? I think. Yeah. And his that's dreams. His, that's, that's his, his fear, fear, yeah. They spooked him. Mm. I would have loved if they that expanded was good. on it. But it was it, it was still cool that they um mm. they had that little moment. Yeah, that is also, cool. Also, it's really weird. That. That, yeah, the, the, the parent, the mom that was like the one with the security one, she just like kind of sacrificed herself and then happened to show up again at the end like it was Avengers Endgame. There was no real explanation mm-hmm. as to how she came back. He's just there like, yeah. I'm here to save my daughter now because the narrative needs me to. Woo! Like, it, didn't, <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. It was odd. It's a strange one. Mm-hmm. So, actually good, probably not actually no. terrible also probably not it's a very mid episode but it's the ending that's actually just... mid <laughs> actually mid actually very mid no i think you know what i'm pretty sure that was one of the first episodes i reviewed where i gave it below a five and i was like am i a doctor who fan <laughs> do i what am a, i a jody hater now oh my god oh am my god. i jody hater no that's that's probably one of my least favorite episodes anyway yeah. troy the next hot take please who have we got crispy and what have they said who is your daddy and what does he All do right. david tennant this <laughs> <laughs> David Tennant is my yeah. dad. Oh my <laughs> yes! Oh. We got it in. Anyone doing the drinking game? Drink now. <laughs> That's it. We should, all, right, all, we should we all sing it together. Oh, when you do your sing along on your episode, you should David you should make Tenet it. David Tennant is my, yeah. my dad, and we'll all sing along. Oh, that'd be lovely. All right, He's here we scrambling go. Scrambling now to get the audio file. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is from Dolan of Light, and they said they should have kept the M M&M and M Daleks. Looks way better than the brown and old gold ones. Hmm. That, okay, um, this is like a half L. Uh, uh, yeah, half that, L. The, because I think... It's just a line. Like a, just, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, just, just a line. It's an eye. It's an eye. One line. An because eye, yeah, an eye. I think in Asylum, when they give them the more like like the darker look, yeah, I think that's that's peak. That That's peak. Yeah, good. Okay, good. Good. I think we're in agreement. Good. Because... If I, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. What? If I speak, I'm in big trouble. Oh, because no. I know where Troy's going. Is that that, is that, that coach quote? What's his yeah. name? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> but I will agree. They look better in Asylum. Mm-hmm. Way better in Asylum. Oh, I no, I'm not. I'm not it's not about at. that. I'm just going to say that I really like them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I, I, always I think them. they could have been utilized better. I would have liked to have seen... Because the idea of them was that they had different roles. Yeah. yeah. And so I would have liked to have seen yeah, that them really in cool. their various roles. Mm. Yeah. Like, I would have liked to have seen a whole bunch of, you know, blue Daleks... D- one episode, one episode with just the blue dots, whatever they are, the scientists. Yeah, whatever, doing, this, doing the strategies. Blue was strategist. I could literally yeah. name all uh, of them. Yeah. I'm- all right, Troy, go on, show off while we're here. White was supreme, yellow was eternal, red was drone, orange was scientist, blue was strategist. There you go. Yeah, I'm really pretty sure red was Arch Alive. <laughs> red was Arch Alive. Oh, shut up. <laughs> red was Arch Alive. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I had a really good point about them, but I can't remember. And now I'm just sorry, I distracted you. what Clever you. Dick said about how the back was meant to hold other weapons, because he told us this in the series five episode, oh. and you were like, I, I did not know this. I didn't like, know the that. The weapons were meant to like slide around and then swap out of the back, apparently, and that's why they have a hunchback. I had no idea. Oh. Oh. No, I what that. I was going to say was like in, in classic nowhere. Doctor Who, there is a lot more of the, those kind of ranks and things like that. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you even see in um, Parting, is it Parting of the Ways, the end of series one? There's mm. well, the, the blowtorch one. Well, no, so it's mainly bronze ones, but mm. then all the ones around the emperor all have a black head. Ah, oh, right. Um, and oh, those really? one are like the emperor's Is guards. That where I think that it's comes like black from? head and black ball things. Right. Um, so they have black balls. They do have black balls. <laughs> black balls. Yeah. Um, and wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about the one with you know the, you, uh, you, know the... you know what you did there. <laughs> As I was describing it, I was like, all right, surely someone takes this away and just... <laughs> yeah. You know the no, blowtorch we'll Dalek where it has the one that goes in part and away as it goes through the steel door? Yeah. It has that blowtorch on it. I was As a kid, I was always like, where did this come from? Why don't so they like, all have this? Yeah, it's like <laughs> pretty, pretty I've cool. I've seen... Yeah. Yeah. I saw an action figure or an eagle moss figure or something of, of a bronze Dalek with a black head and I did think... Yeah. Where is that from? Where's it did say from? part of the ways, but I was like, I never saw that in part of the way. So there you go. You've got a keener eye for detail than I have. There are only ever CGI ones that like fly around the emperor. Um, I don't think there's any practical ones of them. Um, and they're on, if you look ah. at the, if you have the series one Blu-ray remaster on the back where it's got the shot of the emperor, they're on there with it. So yeah. I have the wow. steel book. Is it on there? I don't think no, so. I don't have the, no. the steel book for that. Sadly. Mm. 
How many steelbooks do you have now, Aiden? Me? I've got from the 50th onwards. So, not nice. probably not as many as a lot of people, but um, still, at least I have nine now. So, there we go. Nine Beautiful. is like awesome. the Beautiful. really hard ones mm. to get hold of. So, that's the one you should be like really proud of. Mm. Like when I, when I went mm. back and got them and said this to you, lads, I think on, on your episode was like series nine and one and two kind of were the most expensive ones to get hold of. Yeah. They were really like between the three of them. Far more money than I'm comfortable with sharing. Far more money they're, than I'm comfortable sharing. <laughs> they're really um, hard to get. And I, I just bought the Series 1 to 7 like Blu-ray box set right when they started yeah. making the Steelbooks. And it cost me so much to get that box set that I was like, there's no way that I can invest in getting these these Steelbooks now. So that's why I yeah. got from the 50th onwards. <laughs> that's why you got it. Oh, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Mm. No, that's smart. That's smart. Mm. All right, lads. Here comes our next hot take. Here comes our next. We've only got about twenty minutes. We need to, we need to ask you guys about your podcast. We need to ask you guys oh. about your podcast. You got to, you got to, you got to yeah. chill. You got to chill. So let's, let's let's steamroll through. Aiden, you're up next. That's my name. Um, season one isn't great. Doctor Dancer's two parter is all that's worth rewatching. Oh no! Amazing episode. Right. That's, from, take. that's from Craig Penfold, <sighs> who has a unicorn oh, in his in his uh, in oh. his name, and that and that's because unicorns are about as rare as that opinion. Um, and then heart, love hearts. L. L. I was kind of proud of that, that that joke, but clearly it didn't land. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, didn't hear I was just in pain from from this take. If I'm honest, no, crispy genuinely, yeah, that is that. No, yeah, no. I'm eating away. Crispy was, eating, crispy chicken. The, the, lo- the yeah. long game is the only weak episode of series one. How's that for a hot take? Uh, I probably ag- agree. It's the only one that I don't really like to watch. You know? Yeah, I don't like yeah. the Celine episodes. I'll yeah. say it. I like the oh. concept, but the f- I've never been a fart joke man. No, <laughs> I've said it. Either. I hate that. Oh, Cringe. God. But yeah, like I love the feel of those. Like it, it's so. There's three in season one. Yes. Like, damn. Yeah, I'd I happily rewatch them. I'd happily rewatch. There are a lot them. of fun. In fact, I have on the Who Addicts channel many years ago, and I was like, yeah. this is all right. Troy, just breathe, son. Come on, it's okay. All right, breathe in. I out. wish I was. As zen as you Taking right a now, deep, but I have hot sauce. Deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> oh, How good can reference. you not like the Celine episodes? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Thank Connor, God. carry on with us. Who have we got next? <laughs> Move on. Move on quickly before I get very angry. All righty. <laughs> all the Christmas specials are 10 out of 10s, and yes, I mean all of them. Um, Come on. I don't want to give it an out. L. I don't want to, but I don't, because I don't, yeah. Uh, mm. That's just that, that's, mean, that's, that's a bad take Mysterio purely because of Dr. Widow in the wardrobe. for me. Oh, oh. Mm. different takes there. They're definitely not tens. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's an L. They're not tens. Yeah, that. There's no way. There's no. Yeah. Way. No. Can we think? Just think for a second, lads. Well, while I have us here, while we're all in discussion, go on, Chris. Can somebody throw out a ten out of ten Christmas special? A Christmas Carol. Voyage of the Damned. A Christmas Carol. There we and go. Voyage of the Damned. There we go. There we go. Even okay. we didn't I knew, give it I knew exactly what you guys were going to say. <laughs> I think 10's pretty intense, but I'd say it's pretty perfect for for Christmas Carol. Yeah, I, wa- I watched it yeah. two days ago, That's and it is just so not the best. So good. What? I don't mind Voyage Down. I just don't love it. They're both great. They're they're the best two. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. This is yeah. hot takes, isn't it? Hell. Voyage of the Down is the best Christmas special. Takes. It's the best Christmas oh, special. And that's, that's spoilers Very for the next good. episode of our podcast because we're going to be going live talking about it. So I've showed my hand. Wow. But yeah, Voyage of the Down is the best one. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, Aiden just ranked all of them on the channel. I, I did. Saw. That's, that's Very good ranking. That Very, Very good excited. ranking. I am yet to watch the ranking. I am excited now. Did you agree with them, Crispy? Most of the... The for the most part. Yeah. For the most okay, part, okay. yes. Where, where was Voyage of the Damned in your ranking? It was in S. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. And where was Dr. Wither in the wardrobe? I think I put it... S- from memory, I think it was B. I think Wither <laughs> the wardrobe was B, I think. What was the lowest tier you put things into? I think D, I think. Right, okay, so I'm not going to watch it because it's clearly going to have bad opinions. Dr. Wither <laughs> in the wardrobe is terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, you waste, they wasted Bill Bailey. We've said this before. Yeah, you don't did. waste they Bill did. Bailey. You don't but it's waste fun Bill Bailey. In parts, it's Narnia. It's Doctor Who goes to Narnia. Naughty. Naughty. It's the most depressing Narnia I've ever seen. It's a snowy land with wooden <laughs> trees that talk and they're like run away from the acid rain. What? Acid rain. What? Yeah, it's no. not chocolate no. rain. No, I'd rather have November thank rain. Thank you. Thank you. I can't be crispy. Don't worry, man. Oh no, who's that? Is it thank me? You. Is it me now? I think it's you. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's me. Oh, see, I don't, I don't, I don't oh. like, having, I don't like having the limelight put on me. <laughs> um, Connell, go Doctor Who has said the Ice Warriors are the worst villains to come back from the original show. Can never really enjoy them for some reason. 
Well, I mean, who have we, what classic monsters have we got to come back? So we got Dalek, Cybermen, Sontarans. Yeah, that's a good. Zygons. Zygons. Sea Ice Devils. Sea Devils. Sea Devils. Silurians. Mm -hmm. uh, I, what, I anything, say, anything beyond well, that? Sea Devils were The Great well. Intelligence. Oh. Great Intelligence, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say Sea Devils. Yeah, Sea Devils are probably... Probably the worst. But even like the Silurians, other than um, uh, Vastro, I, I feel like the Silurians haven't really been used that. Yeah, I was going to say, I wouldn't say the Sea Devils are the worst to come back. The episode itself might be weaker than some of this, but I think the Sea Devils, how they are, I quite like them in that. I don't know. I like the design, yeah. but like... Autons yeah, the design's amazing. Well. That being said, you know how they like CGI'd like the, the blinking and the throat movement? Like, yeah. I didn't notice that when I watched it in like 480p on ABC when that came on out. ABC I but <laughs> now that I've got the steelbook and I was watching it in 1080, Rip um, and probably now knowing that that's what like that that is what they did, I cannot yeah. like not see it like, I'm when I'm watching it. it. It's here, yeah, I know. It ruins like I, every I time they, talk. they I appreciate they did it. Yeah, I understand the intention. And upon first viewing, I was like, oh wow, that were they so lifelike. Mm. But then you know the, the the better detail you see, that you're like. Yeah. It's a bit distracting. It can be, if you're thinking about it, Troy, if you're thinking doesn't, about it. It doesn't bother it, me. Like, no, I did. I've watched it thinking about it. It didn't really bother me as much. I'm just, yeah, well, you're just, I, I just, you're just a legend. I'm you're just a legend stuff. of the you sea devils. You, you know are the legend devil. of the sea devils, Troy. I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, but <laughs> well the thing done. with the Ice Warriors is they've had. No, never mind. I was going to say they've had more episodes returning than anything else, but Silurians had a two parter and Zygons were in two different stories. So, no, I'm talking on yeah. the dark side. So, yeah. I don't know. I Probably. And they're both pretty mid. I always liked the Silurian yeah. two-parter. I I always liked it. I think it had a weird cliffhanger. We're talking about the Ice Warriors. Ice talking Warriors, about the yeah. Ice Warriors. No, I know, yeah. but I'm trying to decide like who the actual worst one is. Like, is it actually the Ice right. Warriors? I'm like, I don't know. It's the Candyman. Well, no, Patrick, Patrick, Russell, Russell, do you know what I hate about that? Russell could quite easily bring back the Candyman. Well, Beep the Meep is on the will. way. Beep the Meep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Beep the and, meep. and played by Miriam Margulies. <laughs> That's definitely who she's playing. Beep the Meep. Beep the Meep. Beep the Meep. Oh. Right here Two comes here comes, here comes a take right here. I yeah. found here comes a take I found very funny crispy you you take this one you take this one oh no here we go <laughs> make sure you name and shame this oh, person Jimmy, Jim oh, do you know Jimmy? Jimmy I know Jimmy yeah yeah he, he's like uh, oh, always here we go on our stuff. oh Great no guy. lads this is <laughs> the one I read out before we started <laughs> the worst writer in the show's history isn't Chibnall it's Mark. Gattis or Gatiss, however you say it. Absolutely everything he wrote is terrible. At least Chibnall has 42 mm. and Flux. <laughs> mm. oh, sorry, Jimmy. That sorry. is... Troy, um, that's one of Troy the takes of all times. No, it I wasn't... No, 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 no. I wasn't offended by it. I just love that the story he picked out to back Chibnall was 42. 42. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's 42. I feel actually, that's actually pretty quick. That's a rough take. Um, like, I, like, yeah. I like 42, don't get me wrong. I think it's a very average episode. I don't love it, but I don't mm. think it's bad. But like, it's not there terrible, are so many yeah. other Chibnall stories you could pick out to back Chibnall yeah. being better. To back your case. Like, mm. The one where who's got more number ones? Be Be Beatles or Elvis? Come on. Yeah. But my problem with Forty Two is everyone's just angry, and I get it because the sun. Yeah, you know, we live in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. It's like to be it's hot. Too bloody hot, you know. <laughs> it's true. It's too bloody hot, mate. Wait, you're not recording. It's our not podcast. too bloody hot. It's Extra, it's extra bloody. Hot. It's extra bloody hot. <laughs> Thank you. When we did our podcast last week and, and we zoomed it because I had COVID, um, I was sweating. And let me tell you, when we were having audio sweats. difficulties, like we would like hang up between zooms, and I was like to myself, uh, swear words that I won't say because the bleeping out. But I was <laughs> He's getting good at this. He's good at this. I was Look getting bloody cranky off air. Like, yeah, <laughs> I could tell. I literally yeah. listened to our episode this week, and I was like, this is like bad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm trying to sell it, but I'm like, this sucks. I'm just going to no, be honest. No, it was good. Thank was you. Good. Thank you. We're going to be our own toughest do. critics, you know. No, 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 I, no, I very, very much enjoyed it. Very, very much enjoyed Thank it. You, Thank you, King Crispy. Man. Do you know what I'm going to do, lads? Just to wrap up before we before we talk to you about your, uh, Go on. your, your, Go your on. podcast. I'm going to try and yeah. get up a list of all the oh, episodes Mark go. Gattis wrote and all the episodes Chris Chibnall wrote, and then we can actually compare them. Right. Oh, wow. okay. right. Troy really wants to... Well, we dig can, in on this. I want, this it's Jimmy an interesting quote. take. I actually do want to think about it properly. So, I mean, like, Mark Gattis I can has name written. Mark Gattis is, yeah. Without naming oh, yeah. Gattis on, 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 is, like I did embarrassingly. Did so we go. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So, so we take turns. Go here we go. Because I can do it too, I reckon. I'm quite dead. Idiot slanted. Boom. Uh, not the last was experiment. Um, Victory of the Darts. Victory of the Darts, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, Cold War, Crimson Horror. Crimson Horror. Oh, wait, what's in Series 6? What are you doing in Series 6? Night Terrors. Night Terrors. Yes. Night Terrors. Yep. And Empress then, of Mars. 
Yeah, what's in nine? Uh, eight and nine. Oh, sleep, sleep no, no more. more. That's right. What does he do in eight? What does he do in eight? Eight. Robert of Sherwood. Robert right. Sherwood. Okay, look, you guys ended up doing better than me. Doctor Who fans, let's go. Let's go. Did Doctor you guys say the series 10 one? <laughs> Yeah, Empress yeah, of Mars. Yeah, Empress of Mars. Okay, I was, trying, I was trying to keep track of all the See, molestia. We just spoke you got them all. Very the, nicely done. The ice, ice warriors for so long, it's been stuck in my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Uh, yeah. Chibnall, Chibnall did, well, let's just go through them all. Oh, he's, he's 42, 42. Arachnids in the UK, Cold Blood, Solarians. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, uh, The Ghost the Monument, Power Halloween Power Apocalypse, Free. The Hungry Earth, Once Upon Time. Uh, he wrote P. They've credited P.S. that little five-minute thing with the the story. That was like good. That's probably that one of good. the best things Chibnall's That's done. Power of yeah. Three, Resolution, Rosa, Spyfall, Survivors of the Flux, Saranga Conundrum, The Vanquishers, Village of the peace. Angels, co with Mallory Blackman. Mm. So, mm. War of the Santarans and the Woman Who Fell to Earth. I'm sorry, but Chibnall wins on that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I feel like. Yeah. 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 I think. Uh, yeah. Well. I feel like it, Chibnall has far more. Yeah. And from yeah, that, true. there mm. are some bangers in there. Yeah. Lux. With Miss, with Mr. Gattis, I feel like the the ones that we have had from him have maybe not reached, you know, superstardom. They aren't the best. They're okay. But maybe if Mr. Mark was given the same episode count, mm. we may see a very similar trend. Yeah, I don't absolutely. know. I'd be... I think that because of um, his show running, well, not show running, co show running experience with Sherlock, I'd be interested to see what a Mark Gaddis led series would look like because I feel like yeah. it'd probably be the best thing he's done to Doctor Who, but we may never see that. Well, that's, no, that's a good yeah, segue into my point, which is I think oh. we also forget that Chibnall was, had the pressure of being a showrunner. And, and I think that yeah. can then hinder individual scripts because you're working on a series as a whole and don't get as much True. time to, mm. to hone in on an individual script. Also want to say, I think Mark and Chibnall, even though they have highs and lows, I think that they're probably two of the most just like maybe mid-tier. This is a hot take, I guess. Mm. Like mid-tier oh, yeah. writers in I was about to say, Mark Who. is kind of very much a reliably kind of like, not mid, mid. sounds like an insult, doesn't it? Yeah. But he's a reliable yeah. mid-writer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he does the job. Yeah, right? he does the job. You don't really yeah. come out yeah. going, that was amazing. Yeah. Or, or that was mm. terrible most Unless you had like 10-year-old me watching Idiot's Lantern and th- thought it was like one of the best episodes for some yeah. reason. <laughs> Well, then there was Sleep No More, me and Connor just oh, hated. We hated talking about it because we well, just hated being so negative. Mark did. Mark did Adventure in Space and Time, which I think is one oh. of the most beautiful oh, things to come out brilliant. of Doctor Who. So, no, my Mark you know, is better. Yeah, mm. definitely. Like, I mm. think that's one of the most beautiful things. And and his Doctor Sherlock Who. contributions as well. Yeah, Sherlock, yeah, Sherlock is like very dope. good well, Sherlock there are, like, there are very few things in Doctor Who that have made me like properly cry and hearing, uh, you know, David Bradley's <laughs> William Hartnell say, I don't want to go about leaving the show. That... That yeah. one broke me down. That was mm-hmm. like beautiful. Oh, it's done. so well done. It's so well done. Mm, very yeah. good. Yeah, um, yeah. Right. Wow. I'm gonna start this recording again just to be well, safe. Well, this is perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this in as well because this is the last few minutes of our episode where we ask you guys to promote your podcast. So yeah. while you're changing <laughs> Thank the camera, you so much. do some promoting. Go for it, lads. That Who are you and what promotion. do you do? God, how do we promote it? Who are we and what what do we do? Well, uh, what we, do we, we do? used to start by saying um, what? Well, our kind of pitch of our show is that we we're called the 50 percent doctor who podcast because it's like we give ourselves a bit of flexibility to go off topic a little bit um which i, I think you guys do as well yeah um, yeah but, we just don't put in the name <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, um, we didn't think to brand it no, yeah <laughs> yeah that could be a good thing on that thing you know I, I think that's a, a good idea on your guys yeah <laughs> But well, yeah, for me so particularly, otherwise it. it'd be the, it's the who's gimmick. there a Doctor Who Pale Wave Sonic Frontiers podcast at the minute. Like, that seems to be where my brain's at. Yeah. Weird how many of Troy's subjects are in that title there. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> because mm. do you know what it is, Crispy? Do you know what it is? It's because you're able to, like, keep, like, you're not you able to, like, just track? verbal manure out all the things mm. you're doing at the minute. You're able to keep it in. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I've got, I've got, you I think I've got, like, ADHD or something. Throughout. I honestly don't know. I might well do. I, I just, like, yeah. Yeah. Sonic Frontier. <laughs> Aiden's Troy and I'm Crispy, I think. That's, oh. it's li- yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. I, uh, Connor cool. and I were talking about this over, over text. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> we're just like, I was like, I was like well, there's a weird similarity between our podcast, which is why I'm saying this. Everyone listening, go go and subscribe. Do all yes. of that good stuff. We'll let Thank them pitch you. a bit more, but we kind of Thank cut you. you off there. Um, but I do feel like that Connor and I are the same and Aiden and Troy are the same. I'll take it. You guys, yeah. you guys, Troy and um, Aiden, you're very much the strategist, the men behind the scenes, the men editing. And then as- it. 
Uh, Connor so beautifully put it over text. We're the heart and the soul, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, basically, what you're saying is we're the heart and the soul. You know, and you're also the two gingers, Troy. Yeah, yeah, the gingers. I, can yeah. I just say, I do do the clips, as I always say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Before anyone well. says I don't edit anything, <laughs> I do the clips. Yes, and bonus videos. <laughs> and the bonus videos, well, yeah. Crispy. But yeah, yeah. We, we do clips, <laughs> bonus videos, and um, yeah, I we're the, the 50% clips. Doctor Who podcast. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so we have fun. Probably, yeah, a little, as you would have heard a from uh, the beeping that has to have been cut out from Connor. Sorry, so, folks. It <laughs> is, we're a little bit more of the explicit, um, quite often have beers on the show and just yeah. like a, yeah, take us where it goes. You know? A few Bundys. Few You're like me on Twitch, drink. basically. Is but I don't drink, true? I just swear anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, We've yeah. had a few. Um, series 4 was a was a very drunk time on the podcast. I think that was, that was pretty That's COVID-y though, wasn't it? And uh, mm-hmm. if it was going to hell. And, and so we drank. And so we saying. drank hell. <laughs> so we drank. Uh, away. No, That's when me and Oscar time. became best yeah. friends during oh. COVID. Well, it wasn't Fine. really like... We did one episode, and then he was—he was—he was quite glad to be the back of me. You know, he was quite quite glad to be rid of me. <laughs> and now here we are. No, and now here you we know, well, how, so there was no when, disagreement there. You know, so there was no disagreement. No, no. <laughs> when um, when exactly did your podcast start, guys? Again, when when was when did this like start? season yeah. June season eleven was our like okay that that's like pilot season, which was so dumb. It was like on my vlogging channel, which makes no sense. Mm, but right. I would upload it to my <laughs> vlogging channel along with my other podcast I was doing at the time and then I would upload vlogs. So it just like, even at the time I was like, this makes no sense. Like this makes no sense. But then like, yeah, yeah, there'd be like no footage. It would just be the audio. You would come to mine, which is weird because we've never shot a single episode at my house. I always come here. For this version of it. Yeah. So, so we had true, but when we're through Zoom, we like, obviously I'd be at my house. So we did Mm. seven episodes of that old iteration of it. And then then I went on holiday to the Gold Coast. The GC. I know. I can't believe it. I would have loved to have come to see you, Christy, but we weren't friends. No. I remember that's when you hit uh, 10,000 subscribers because Aiden was drunkenly tweeting you going, I'm going to get you to 10K. And he didn't reply to a single one of them. Yeah, (laughs) I did. I'm sure if you search really fast. That's when I was in the No. You can, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So I think it might be because your Twitter handle is greeny pro and I thought you were just a copycat. I don't want to talk to this copycat. This guy. Yeah, it never went further than that. And then mid 2020, I hit Connor up and he, it is actually the same story. Where Connor reluctantly it's the said same yes. Story. And um, I was so odd. like, I was like, I, I, the original idea was to have a sit down for like four hours, five hours, and go through season one to was it just twelve at the time? Or it might have just been yeah, eleven. It wasn't going to be a regular 12. show. It was just going to be yeah. like a, yeah. We hadn't seen each other in a long time, mm. and Aiden was like. Why don't we do a video for my channel where we go through all Doctor Who episodes? And you're like, I don't really feel like it's going to fit my channel. Maybe we should start a Doctor Who YouTube channel. And then I'm like, but what? Upload one video? Is that it? (laughs) You're like, we could do it in two parts. And I was like, great. And then it just doesn't. And and then like, yeah, I think you said we should do the whole show. And I said, yeah, reluctantly, yes. Not in a bad way. I just thought that I just didn't think it would become what it has today. But can I just say it's honestly probably without getting cringy. Very cringe. Probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Cringe. It makes me so happy. I'll take it. it really does. I love it so much. Like it literally Aww. ignited my love for me. And I owe this guy a lot. Actually, he yeah. actually really helped me a lot to get there again. Anyway, this is cringe. Do you want to say no? Sorry? It's it's not. Like? It's so weird because I literally texted Troy almost your exact words like last, last night. night. Yeah. yeah. Being, being like yeah. being like Troy That's why we're before the this podcast. The show, I was you know? in a creative we show our emotions. You know, you whether you whether you yeah, heart and soul were very emotional. Very mm. emotional. Aiden's like people. this with emotions. He's like, I ain't say sh- like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap up our episode there. The That's a perfect yeah. place to wrap. So, ladies and gentlemen, in case you I'm thought sorry. it cut off very randomly there, well, not cut off, but you know, we paused the hot takes. That's because we're going to pick up immediately where we left off on the Fifty Percent mm-hmm. Doctor Two podcast. Because yeah, the, this is your episode going out on Monday, right? No, right. this is going to come out the same day as you guys. Really? Woo! Yeah. Wow. Well, it's the Christmas. Yeah. Well, yes. where ours is coming out? You, are you gonna schedule it to come out like the hour after ours finishes? How are you doing this? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so ours goes up midday, which is your eight hours ahead. So that's eight p.m. your time. So if you right. schedule it for yep. nine, we're just planning this on the morning. But the point is, as soon as we're finished, you can get over in that case perfectly aligned to go mm-hmm. on this fifty percent side of it because they're going to be doing part two, which we're going to record right after this. So Hell thank you all good. very much for listening, Crispy. What are your closing comments for today's episode? 
Uh, my closing comments is that uh, the 50% boys are currently in the middle of 12 days of Christmas. They're uploading every single day. And you should go and subscribe. Absolutely. Thank you. If go you are you. not, what are you doing? Get them to 1,000 by January. Oh, no. Let's, let's <laughs> yes, just... that's a good goal. <laughs> you already got us to 5,000 <laughs> subs yeah. by let's January Let's see how goes. much power we can leverage. <laughs> yes, Luke, um, exactly. But no. No, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for showing support to the Who's There podcast. Thank you, everyone, that went over and checked out 50%. As I say, I endorse these guys wholeheartedly. They're an absolute laugh. And I if don't. you want some more laughs with them, go and listen right now to part two thank of podcast. Thank us. you very much. Exactly. No, they are. They're fab lads. We both had a great time being on their podcast. So, you know, we get to appear again. And just for our own podcast, ladies and gentlemen, our final episode as uh, Networld will be next Thursday for YouTube audience. But we'll be live with episode 40 on Thursday, the 22nd of December. At midday UK time, we were going to be talking about the best festive specials. We're closing out the year with a live one. So we'll see you all oh, on Thursday yeah. for that. So thank you very much for listening and watching. And we'll see you all then for the final episode. And then we'll be back in 2023 Woo. talking about more Doctor Who stuff, no doubt. Thank you lots for being here. And we'll see you all next week. Thanks, bye, bye, bye. Thanks for having us. Bye. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Alonzi, baby. Alonzi. 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 Alonzi.